everyone it is danny and welcome to this updates video this morning i hope you guys are doing really fantastic on this friday and i'm going to be taking you guys through what is happening across the atlantic with focus being on the caribbean as per usual so for some of us it has been raining it has been windy as well it has been chilly so that's been the story across the caribbean parts of the caribbean for this week and it continues into today so we'll be looking at what is expected and also in terms of the next cool down we've got more models expecting that we'll definitely see this happen or uh, come to fruition as we head into the latter part well the end of the year really so we'll be talking about that later in the video but looking into the caribbean right now here we can see all these patches of clouds moving been through so with them there's been some showers across some areas parts of the northern caribbean over in central america and even for the southeastern islands and matter of fact there is some activity coming in from the east that will enhance the rainfall across some of the windward islands as we head through today and it has already begun for example for some parts of northern trinidad so we'll be taking a look at all that is expected as i speak let's go on to the rainfall forecast here it is from the Euro model and we can see all these different colors. Now as it becomes more colorful with those shades of reds and burgundies and even purples, that is indicating a lot more rainfall activity. So first going to those dry areas in the northeastern Caribbean. So for Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Barthelemy, St. Kitts and Nevis, Seba, St. Eustatius, Montserrat, Antigua, Barbuda, and even for Guadeloupe and parts of Dominica, there may not be much rainfall at all as we head through today. But there is more of a chance of some showers for portions of Martinique going towards St. Lucia, and even for St. Vincent, the Grenadines and Grenada, including Barbados, and even down into Trinidad and Tobago. We can see that down there, it gets a bit more colorful with those darker shades of greens and those yellows popping up as well. Looking towards Northern South America, there may be some substantial rainfall across much of the territories as we head through today. A whole lot is not anticipated for the ABC Islands though, and for parts of Panama, but for other areas, especially going toward the Northwest Caribbean coast, there could be some rainfall through today. Similar story for Costa Rica and the parts of eastern Nicaragua and even looking to the east the islands of San Andres and Providencia there could be quite a bit of rainfall within the area and then for sections of eastern Honduras the Bay Islands Belize the Keys there could be some substantial rainfall and if there's a lot of heavy rain that can trigger flooding so please be mindful of that guys and then as we head into uh, other areas especially going toward the Pacific coast of most of these Central American countries we're not seeing where much rain is expected similar story as we head up to the yucatan now over in the northern islands of the caribbean going toward the cayman islands and cuba a whole lot is not expected for some of us in jamaica it has been raining the showers have been intermittent for some of us it has been continuous and if there's a lot of rain again a lot of heavy rainfall that can trigger some isolated flooding but hopefully that won't be the case today looking toward hispaniola puerto rico the virgin islands there could be some showers moving through and also for for the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands in terms of the wind so it's been quite windy and those waves have also been quite rough so as we head more to those blue shadings that is representative of those winds up to around 25 knots even 30 knots and that is expected off the coast of Colombia and the Central Caribbean thereabout. And elsewhere, there could be winds up to around 20 knots or so, even some stronger gusts than that. Parts of Cuba, the Cayman Islands, for some of us in Jamaica as well. And uh, even headed toward the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands, we're seeing some of those darker shadings of purples and some of those blues popping up. Going toward the ABC Islands, it may also be quite windy. But in terms of the winds, things may be on the more tranquil side toward Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and through the lesser and to lease. So that is what is expected in terms of the winds but now we're moving on to this map here we can see these green shadings now that is representing some of those uh, wave heights up to around six or seven feet maybe even higher across some spots and that is all due to what's happening with these fronts moving out all these storm systems and we're going to be seeing a lot more of this so seas are not so calm across much of the west and the central caribbean as well but over in the east we're seeing some of these lighter blue shadings so not as rough seas over there going toward the atlantic coast 
most of some of the eastern Caribbean islands, the Lesser Antilles. It is a bit rougher there and also for the northern portion of the Virgin Islands, even toward Puerto Rico and Hispaniola. And looking toward the Turks and Caicos Islands and the Bahamas, definitely seeing that those seas are a lot rougher with those higher wave heights up to around 9 or even 10 feet up there. So that is what is going on right now. And so now we're moving on to the temperature anomaly map. We'll be looking at multiple models here. We'll be looking at GFS, Euro, and the Canadian model. So kickstarting with GFS. And where we see these blue shadings, they represent below average temperatures. And this is as we head out into Sunday evening. Not this coming Sunday, but Sunday the 31st of December, the final day of the month. So for many of us in the Northern Caribbean who will be experiencing these below average temperatures, it's a pretty great way to kickstart 2024. So we can see these darker shades of blues and even these purples popping up across portions of the eastern U.S., going toward the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, Cuba, potentially Jamaica, even for the Cayman Islands and over in some spots in Central America. So with this next uh, front moving out at the time, there's going to be that massive cool air behind it. And then as we head on to the Euro model, we can see somewhat of a similar story. So Euro not expecting that temperatures will be as low compared to GFS, but nonetheless anticipating that there will be a decrease in temperatures uh, across portions of the eastern U.S. as well as the northwestern Caribbean. And even over in the eastern Caribbean as well, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and even toward parts of the Lesser Antilles. We're seeing some of those spots of blue, so temperatures may be below average within those areas as well. And then the Canadian model is also showing something similar. So here we can see some decent model agreement about this next cooldown expected in the Caribbean. And we would be seeing something like what is being experienced right now. Not only the cooler temperatures, but also those rougher seas. The winds coming from the north and eventually from the northeast. And also all of the rainfall activity so of course i'll be keeping you guys posted on all that is happening and all that is expected as we head through the next couple of days and that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you in this update video so i hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments i'll respond when i get the chance to do so and remember to always be otherwise